welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're gonna to be talking about neutral pelvis and spine. Okay, it's springtime, and here we are with our Easter episode of The Pilates Show. So today, I thought it would be a lot of fun to use some creative cueing and props with our nice smart spine globe here to see if we can challenge the inner bunny in all of us. So you, um, we're gonna use this nice globe, which is the perfect little cottontail for finding our new, uh, neutral pelvis and spine, but you could also use lots of different props, a regular bean bag, a pillow. Some people like to use even um, a small disc weight so that people can sense how they're holding their pelvis um, in neutral and four point kneeling. Now this action and this challenge isn't just relegated to the mat. You can do it on the Cadillac, on the reformer. There are some exercises in the chair that can really help to refine and figure out mm, do I keep neutral or do I lose neutral while going through dynamic movement in four point kneeling? So what you're gonna do very simply is you're gonna go into four point kneeling, yourself or your clients, and you're gonna give everyone a little bit of a cotton tail here. And so you don't want it too far up on the body in the low back because they'll be able to maneuver around without dropping it and they might be cheating their neutral pelvis. But if you bring it down on towards the sacrum or tailbone, lower into the pelvis, it's gonna become a much harder scenario. So I'm gonna find my nice, uh, arm positioning with my elbow points facing back, nice wide collarbones, wide mid back, and I'm gonna see how much can I bring my sitting bones up and out of my hamstrings without dropping my heart down. So here I am, my little energetic bunny, my toes are curled under. I wanna see how far back can I really hinge my pelvis back without dropping that warm globe, as this is kind of like the jumping bunny here, and then how far forward can I bring myself without losing it either? So it's this really gentle back and forth, like a jumping jackrabbit. I'm from the Southwest, so I know what those puppies look like. And forward. A lot of people, the minute that you bring the pelvis back, what happens is they'll drop their tail, and there goes their little cottontail. So this is a really nice tactile cue so that people feel like they still have to get their tailbone and their sitting bones to support their cottontail. Now you don't just have to go front and back. Let's get, our, get me set up here with my little bunny tail here. You can also tell people to really reach their cottontail back at a diagonal to their left heel and then back to center, and then to their right heel. So this is a more diagonal movement. I learned this from Madeline Black. She has some really great workshops on our site where she goes over all the wonderful dynamics and ways that you can really start to stabilize the pelvis and move on the femur heads in a dynamic manner. Now again, a lot of people, once they get into this four point kneeling position, completely lose where they're at in space. But by using a weighted cue, a little cottontail, you can really find that easy, dynamic, jackrabbit uh, feel that you want to go through um, for all of your clients, again, on the mat, the Cadillac, or the reformer. That's all for today. If you have any observations or questions you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or our forum. Thanks so much for watching and never stop learning.